Hello everyone and welcome to the Ingles Table. I'm Smoking Joe Lasher and today we're going to be making my Moho Grilled Chicken with Avocado Salsa. I got everything I need from my local Ingles, so let's get started. So first things first, I stopped at the Ingles Meat Department and I picked up some beautiful Springer Mountain Farms chicken, which are local to Georgia, North Georgia chicken breast, boneless and skinless. Now I've already prepared these for today's dish. And what we want to do is take a sharp knife and we're just going to do a butterfly on this. So we cut into the breast where we can just fold it out nicely just like that. Now I've done that with uh, six chicken breasts here. Once you've prepared those, you're going to take a resealable freezer bag, about a gallon size, pop those chickens right into the bag. And once we have those in the bag, We've got a mojo marinade that I actually picked up in the Latino section of my local Ingles. Now there's some all kinds of amazing recipes. It's a citrus marinade, really breaks down the meat quickly. So when you use a citrus marinade, you want one to four hours maximum, whether you're using pork, chicken, beef, whatever, uh, it really breaks down quickly. So I didn't make my own today. I bought this at the Latino section. There's several options. I'm gonna pour this right in on top of the chicken, completely cover it. And then we're just going to make sure that that chicken is completely covered, the bag sealed. And we're going to put this in the fridge, like I said, about one to four hours. We're going to do it about an hour. All right, so we've got our chicken in the fridge marinating in that mojo marinade. While that's happening, we're going to make a fresh avocado salsa. So I picked up some nice avocados from the Ingalls Produce Department. Relatively ripe. I don't like to do overly ripe. Take that, twist it just like so. And you can take your knife and pop that in, twist that seed right out. And then what I like to do is just go ahead and take this carefully, cut that like so, and like so. Carefully pop that avocado right out of the skin and into the bowl. We're gonna add some chopped jalapeno we're gonna add some red onion, cilantro, and then we're gonna squeeze the juice of a whole lime. We'll do this. And then the last thing is just about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. I say last. Then we're gonna pop some salt, as much or as little as you like. And then we're gonna take our spoon and just stir this. I think you could add some tomato, or what do you like? That's the cool thing about salsa. Whatever you want to put in, you can put. But for this dish, we're doing an avocado salsa. And this is going to make a very nice, light, refreshing topping for this chicken. Let's put this in the fridge for up to four hours. We're going to go get the chicken on the grill. All right, so we preheated our charcoal grill to a 400 to 450, we want to get that as hot as we possibly can. This chicken is super thin and super lean, so it's going to really only take two or three minutes on each side, and then it's going to be done. So let's let the grill do its job, and we'll meet you back in the kitchen. All right, guys, we're back in from the grill, and I'm telling you, look at this amazing chicken. This only took about four minutes to cook all the way through. Your know, internal temperature on a chicken would be 165 if you're going to check that, but if you butterfly these, just couple minutes on each side and I guarantee you they're going to be done. So I did some uh, jalapenos on the grill. I've got some Spanish style rice that I'm just going to put on the plate here like so. Then I've got some black beans that I've got here cooked up and ready to go. Put those right on the plate just like so. We're going to start with one piece of chicken. Eh, let's do two here like so. Some lime, squeeze it all over that chicken like so. Then we're going to take our avocado salsa right on the top of that, or right down the side like so. And I've got some cilantro, some queso fresco, which is a skim milk cheese, put a little bit of that on the beans, and there you go. We've got a super light, very tasty, quick and easy dinner for any night of the week. I want to thank you so much for joining me here at the Ingalls Table. Be sure to check out the website for more tips, tricks, and recipes, and I'll see you next time.